so um, as usual, lots going on. This is an exciting time of year. We just have a couple of days more um, in March and then um, we're into April, amazingly. And so we just have a couple of days left of the um, Savings in Bloom promotion. So this is the one where the... Um, Baby Boss is 20% off. I call it the Baby Boss because I can never remember its proper name. The mini stamping, cutting, embossing, cut, die cutting and embossing machine or something. But anyway, the Baby Boss is 20% off. So it's down to $48. And then there are <clears throat> all of these bundles um, that are 20% off. Now, I know at least one of them. <clears throat> the what's cooking bundle that the stamp set is no longer available i'm not sure about the dies but the stamp set i think the dies are still available the stamp set is not available and i know that because i was going to do a card using this stamp set and when i went to look it up online it showed it was no longer available so things are i'm not sure about other things on here but because not everything not all of these are retiring but stuff is is going fast so if there's things that have been on your list um on the lance charles list that are retiring from the annual catalog then get them quickly because they may be gone um, if you leave it too long um, so anyway, I kind of went to <clears throat> plan B or C <laughs> and decided to just focus on products that are retiring. And um, so I decided to use this playful alphabet set today. <clears throat> and this is retiring and it's actually on sale. It's on sale for $27 down from, I think, $34. So it's, um, that's a really good deal. And as you can see, there's all the letters. That's kind of a fairly contemporary style letter. Um, you've got doubles of a lot of letters. <clears throat> um, a all the common letters. A all the vowels. There's two of, in addition to some of the others, common letters. N's, L's, S's, P's, T's, um, and then you've got all the numbers <clears throat> and a lot of um, kind of punctuation um, symbols also, and plus and minus and. Um, and everything <clears throat> so and even some foreign like there's an O with the what do you call that is it a sedilla um yeah so a really good um set to have and even though it's retiring it's definitely one that's going to stay in my um stash you know in my collection um because you could you always need alphabets hi Kristen how are you I know I'm sad these are retiring also but I'll be hanging on to them um so anyway, I thought I would do um, a card using these. So the first card I did, and I wanted to also use some other retiring products, um, you know, papers and things like that. So this was the first one I made. <clears throat> um, and this is a good way to use up your designer series paper scraps. Um, so I just did strips. Now this is the hand-penned um, design. I can't remember if it's called hand-penned. I think it is or something like that, design a serious paper. And then I embossed the background with this 3D floral embossing embossing folder that's also sadly retiring. Um, and I don't know if you can see, but I used some, um, thank you, Kristen. I used some um, shimmery crystal effects and I'll show you how to use that. It's probably not quite dry yet, um, but I used some of that on there too. Um, and then I put it on a, a colored card base and I haven't done the inside yet. Um, so I did that one and then I did a second one, which actually I like better. Then I did this one and this is the, um, okay, somebody remind me, let me have a look what the name of this designer series paper is. <clears throat> it's also retiring. Um, dum, 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 here we go. Let's find it quickly. This one is called Simply Elegant. And it's really beautiful. It's got three different, it's foiled, and it's got gold, silver, and copper. Um, and you can mix them all up. Um, so I really love how this one turned out. <clears throat> and um, for this one, I did it a bit different. I did one less letter um, and then added a, a, a U thank you um, down the bottom here. And that was using this die. <clears throat> amazing thanks dies and I love these because you get 
the word and then you kind of get a shadow too which you can do in a different um, color or you can do in um, vellum um, which looks really nice um, so anyway that's what I did for this one um, and I kind of like how that turned out and then I used the textured taste um, textured something or other embossing folder in the background too which is also retiring sadly um, and then the different foils so I'm going to make one a little bit like I'm going to kind of do a combination of the two I thought I would use the um, this designer series paper I have to look it up again because I'm terrible with remembering names so all of these are time I'm going to use that in the wild designer series paper and <clears throat> um, but I'm going to do it like the second one I showed you with a bit of a border so let me just put my catalog away and gather my supplies all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I've got my strips already cut. So I did a lot of the work ahead of time. Let's see if I can zoom in here. There we go, that's better. So I cut all my strips ahead. I've got an evening evergreen card base. And this is, you can do it either, you know, whatever, a top fold or a side fold. This is a top fold, so it's 11 by four and a quarter and then scored at five and a half. So I'm going to use that and then I took a piece of basic white and I have embossed it with the hammered metal embossing folder that is also in retiring. Um, a lot of these are um, on sale at reduced price. They're a really, really good deal and I love embossing folders because you can do a lot of different things with them and they're really inexpensive. So definitely stock up on the embossing folders that are retiring. Anyway, I thought this was kind of a little bit like jungly animal print looking. So. I did that and this is um, let's see this is five by three and three quarters um, so that's going to go on there like that so I'll put the card base to one side for a minute and then I cut some strips so you need the letters are all the same height which makes it very convenient <clears throat> and they're all three quarters of an inch tall so what I did is I cut some strips that are three quarters of an inch wide and the length does not really matter at this point you want them to be at least you want the longest down here we're going to have the longest one and that needs to be about four inch well this is only three and three quarters so you need it to be about three or three and a half um, and then I kind of already figured out the order that I wanted them so I wouldn't have to fiddle around too long so I'm going to and I haven't used let me show you the papers I haven't used them all I kind of selected some so let me show you the bigger here's kind of what I have left so on the one side you've got nice kind of jungly prints got lots of tigers in that one and then we've got this one with some big tigers and the dies I didn't ever get the dies and the stamps for this but I do like the paper and then we've got some some cheetahs or leopards and I think I already showed you that one yeah so these are the papers and then they're kind of different more um, less patterned except for that one's pretty patterned on both sides but there's some other more subtle patterns on the back so I kind of just picked the ones <coughs> I wanted to use oh and there's this one I don't think I showed you this one So anyway, I cut strips three quarters of an inch um, and actually I'm going to grab a piece of grid paper because this is a little bit handy when we're gluing everything down to make sure everything's straight. So I'm going to put, I'm just going to lay them out roughly for right now. And so these are the ones I'm going to use. So you're going to start off kind of towards the left edge and gradually move in and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with about half inch each time so I'm going to lay those out so it's going to be kind of something like this that way you can get kind of an idea too of how much gap you need to leave in between them so this is just rough at the moment and then I've already die cut my letters <clears throat> and what I did 
is I've actually die cut. I figured out which colours I wanted. And I actually die cut. So let's get my little container here so I don't got a little container with my letters in little dish um, what I did is I actually cut three of each um, letter so that they would be a little bit thicker I don't know if you can see that a little bit thicker now that you've got a few options here you could do um, you could use um, you could put just cut out one of each letter and stick it on with dimensionals but that's a little fiddly to me and I don't really like the way it looks um, you could cut out three and have them all backed with um, uh, let's see where's my H with um, the self adhesive sheets um, so these ones I already stuck together the three layers so before, while I'm chatting I can do the rest so I've got my T H and my A and I just picked out colors that were in the paper so here I've got Cajun craze let's see if I can make it a little light brighter um, and I've got Evening Evergreen and Soft Succulent. And then for the um, N, I've got Crush Curry. So what I did, I've got my three here. And I'm just gluing them together <clears throat> with liquid glue. This goes quite quickly, actually. But like I say, if you don't like to do this, you could cut them all out using the um, double-sided adhesive sheets that Stamping Up sells. Um, or you could use the foam sheets that Stampin' Up! sells. They kind of look like a big sheet of dimensionals. It's just one big sheet. But I find this goes quite quickly. What I do is I hold it kind of in between my thumb and forefinger and then I just add a little bit of glue and stack them up. Come here a little in. And then you can kind of make sure that it stays lined up. And then what you can do is you can take a block and just set it under the block. Sometimes I use my phone, but my phone's up here. <laughs> um, so it goes quite quick. And then I get my ends. Got three of those. And I'll just do the same. The other ones I did. Head. So it really doesn't take that long. And you could do, so the first one I did with the hand penned, I did thanks, it had an S on the end, so it was six letters. And then for this one, it's just thank, and then I've got the U separately, so I've got five letters. So you could do, <clears throat> let's see what else, could you, you could do friend, that's six. And then you could do maybe a hello, let's see, is there a hello in that other, no there's not. But if you had a hello, you could do hello friend. Um, you could do happy and then you could do a die cut birthday. So, you know, think of some letters that are kind of like five, six words that are kind of like five, six words long. All right. So then this is going to go. So this is going to how, how it's going to kind of look. My A and my N and my K and then I haven't die cut the U yet because I kind of ran out of time and I thought I would figure out what color I wanted to do once I got the rest assembled so that's how it's gonna look <clears throat> so let's get to assembling now <clears throat> like I say I'm gonna use the grid on here to kind of help me keep everything straight so I'm gonna line up my card base my embossed panel and then kind of move these up a little bit. And then I've got to keep in mind kind of the gap between each going down, you know, um, horizontally. And then I, I want to move in about half an inch each time. So I can kind of use my grid paper for that too. In fact, I didn't think about that before, but I can use that for my half inch increments too. <clears throat> so let's start with the top one. <clears throat> And put a little glue on the back. You don't need very much. And then I'm going to line this one up probably at about the three quarter inch mark. And I'm going to kind of looking to see that I've got my paper straight. All right, then I can do the next one. Now, what I found <clears throat> was I found it easier to put glue on here actually rather than try and estimate how far to put 
put it on here and then it, everything gets stuck to my grid paper. So what I found is actually easier to put like a little bit of glue on here. So thank you all for joining me today. I see I've got a few other people that have hopped on. So let me know who's here. All right, so this one I'm gonna go, so I'm gonna go in about, so let's line this up again. So I'm gonna go to about that one, that quarter mark there. And kind of make sure again that I'm lined up. I'm gonna go up just a little bit. But liquid glue is definitely easier here because you can make sure everything's straight. So then I'm going to do this one. Oops, I did these around the wrong way. I don't want that one there. Because I've kind of got them lined up with my the colours. I want this one next because my H is evening evergreen. So I want this is predominantly ev evening evergreen. So I want it to match my letter. So I actually want this one next. So let's redo that one. That's the other good thing about liquid glue is you can pull it off <laughs> if you've made a boo-boo. All right, so let's do this one again. Hi, Kate. How are you? Good to see you. All right, so again, about half an inch. Make sure it's straight along here. There we go. Then I can do this one because my A is going to be soft succulent. And this one was predominantly soft succulent. So again, put a bit of glue on there. And do this one. Oops, let's get straight here again. Yeah, kind of take your time to get things lined up. But it doesn't have to be perfect. So this one it's about half an inch. All right, and then, so that's my T-H-A, and then my N. Whoops, I'm getting off camera a little bit. So this one I picked crushed curry because there's some crushed curry in here. I wanted something nice and bright. So again, we'll put some glue here. And watch, if you've got directional paper, be careful that you're putting things the right way up. Some, a lot of papers, it won't matter, but just get this lined up again here. And I'm going to go up a little bit. All right, and then the last one is going to be this one and I did evening evergreen again for the K. Alright, so are we straight here pretty much? So again in about half an inch. Make sure everything's lined up. That's looking good. All right, great. All right, then the next steps to put other letters on. Now, it's quite handy if you have tweezers for this step. Um, it's not essential, but I like to use these reversible tweezers to hold the letters. So I can put a little glue on the back. And again, here you could use um, you know, the adhesive sheets, but I don't think it's that bad. But then you can use your tweezers to kind of line things up here. And then you still have got a little bit of wiggle room if you need to move things around a bit. So this is kind of fun because you can go through your papers, see what papers you have left and see what colors you want to use. Now, I did think that you could, originally I was going to do my letters in the same paper in the patent paper but then I thought maybe the a coordinating solid color cardstock would kind of make things stand out 
a bit better. So is that H the right way up? I kind of contemplated, does it have the bigger part at the top or the bigger part at the bottom? I think that's the right way. What do you think? <laughs> I've done it that way on all of them. So if it's wrong, it's wrong on all of them. But when I do an H, I do the line through the middle. don't know about you, but let's see. This one. So what do you think? Hopefully that's right. Okay, and then the A. But it's handy that all their letters are exactly the same height and they're three quarters of an inch. So it's quite easy to, <clears throat> to kind of figure out. Kate says, looks right. Good. Yeah, I tried it the other way and it looked a bit odd. So I decided that that was right. But I wasn't 100% sure. Then in and then the K. So we're almost there. K for Kate. All right, lovely. I like the colours and this nice and bright and cheery. Put away my glue for now. All right. So next step is we're going to flip it over. Hopefully all my letters are on there. And just trim off all these extra pieces. And you've probably got enough for another, might have enough for another card actually. You could use a paper trimmer here, but I find it easier just to use scissors. Because you do get your scissors a bit sticky. So there's that, and then we'll stick it on to the, the card base, and then, ooh, look how nice that looks on the evening evergreen, love that. Um, then we'll just need to decide how to do the U, what colours. So I think I will, let's see, this one I popped up, yeah, I think I will, I'll pop this up on dimensionals, let me grab some. You could pop up the individual strips too if you wanted, but I decided not to. I'm getting a bit carried away with dimensionals here, aren't I? Right. I don't want any sagging in the middle. <laughs> Everybody's very quiet today. Picking a favourite is going to be hard, they're all unique. Picking a favourite. Picking a favourite what, Kristen? All right, let's put the, oh, let's see. Put this in the middle. Oh, between the three designs. Oh, you mean the cards? You mean the card designs? Right. I love that. That looks pretty. All right. So next I need to decide. Let's grab my dies. So the only thing I didn't do is I didn't die cut these. So, of course, all these work on the mini baby boss. So let's see. I've got some little scraps. So I thought... Um, let's see, I could do, so I've got no saggy middles and no naked envelopes. <laughs> Maybe a new slogan. Yes, one of my teens says no naked envelopes. Hey, Margaret. Thank you. Yeah, I was pretty pleased with how these turned out. Um, so I'll show you all the others in a minute. Um... All right, so what color shall we do for this? We could do, I've got white here. I've got crush, crush curry. I've got Cajun craze and soft succulent. I don't have evening evergreen. 
but actually I think evening evergreen would look really nice with soft succulent, wouldn't it? Or maybe... Hi Kathleen, how are you? Good to see you. Or maybe white with... What do you think? Maybe these two. Could make a lot of cards from just a few pieces of six plus six. Yes, it's a great way to use up your scraps. All right, I'm deciding everyone's. Thank you, Kathleen. Yeah, I'll show you the others in a little bit again. So I'm just deciding which colors to use for my. Um... So I think I'll use Cajun Craze because I have that at the top. And then I think I'll do white or soft succulent how would that look or <laughs> I won't do crushed curry because I've got that there let's try these two and see how it looks so grab my <clears throat> baby boss and we'll do uh, let's see my plates let me zoom out a little bit so you can see what I'm doing so let's do Cajun Craze for the bottom. And we'll do soft succulent for the for the, the words themselves. Let's give that a try. Come on. Be, be, be good, baby boss. Let's see here. I think it's always easier when you're standing up to get them to go through. Come on, what's happening here? So I'm going to go through this point, by the way. There we go. You need to, when you're using the baby brush, you need to make sure you've got these plates staggered. They go through easier if they're staggered um, because if you try and push them all through together, that it's too blunt of an edge. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Please and prayers for my daughter. She's been... Oh, I saw that, Kathleen, since Monday with pneumonia. Oxygen levels won't go about. Oh, that's really low. Yes. Thank you for sharing that, Kathleen. I did see that on Facebook, so definitely we'll be praying for your, your daughter and your family. That is scary to have a child who's sick like that, isn't it? All right, so what I was thinking was like this. Oh yeah, I like that because it kind of pops then. Let me zoom back in again here. So let's attach these. A little bit of glue. And again, you can use your tweezers here to kind of get them lined up. Oh, she only has one lung. Oh my goodness, that's scary. So does she get pneumonia? Does she have, uh, she's probably immunocompromised and does she get pneumonia often then? That's very scary. All right, let's put a couple of... In there. Let's maybe cut, use a couple of edge pieces here, I think. With the little ones, really. Let's do another little piece. So um, it's been quite an exciting. Oh, that's nice. Thank you, Margaret. Um, it's been quite the exciting week because, as demonstrators, we all got to see the new catalogue, 
And then we have an event coming up called On Tour. And those of us that signed up for that, we got our catalogue early, our hard copy early, and then an actual stamp set in the mail out of the new catalogue. So that was quite exciting. So I'm going to put this so it's kind of hanging off the bottom of the um, white a little bit. Just like that, I think. Here we go. And then let's put on some bling and I'll do the inside also. <clears throat> so I thought I would use these same embellishments that I used. These are the brush metallic Ad um, adhesive back dots and these are carrying over so thank goodness because I really love these so you get them in a brass a copper and a gold um, so let's put a couple of these on let's put um, I thought these would go well do one of that because the copper kind of goes with the Cajun craze Thank you, Kristen. Glad you like it. And then let's put a gold one on down here, maybe. Let's just put it right there. Right. So pretty, I think. Let's do the inside quickly. <clears throat> so I got a piece of cardstock. I'm going to do the inside with the evening evergreen and I'm going to use this sentiment because it's a thank you card. I'm going to use this set is also retiring <clears throat> and it's one of those ones that I kind of forget I have but I like the sentiments and I like the different fonts in this. I'm going to put thank you for all the little things you do and for your big heart. Yes, you're right. I could have put that in the white space. I did think about that earlier, Denise, because I thought, is it weird to have it in front of the K? So I did think about that. So if I do another one, I'll, I'll put it up in the white space. I wonder if I can pull it off and try it. I'll probably ruin it if I do that. I'll leave it there for now. But yes, you could definitely do it in the white space. All right. <clears throat> so you'll all have to try them with all your different papers. So let's grab this. And I'm going to test it on, the, I don't have the backing on it, so let me test it on my grid paper to make sure it's going to stamp straight before I stamp it for real. For real. Let's see, let me stand up here. Not too bad. My right side is down just a little bit, so let's see if I can get it straight. All right, here goes. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty good. So that's nice big bold sentiment to go with the kind of bold paper. So I like that. I like the evening evergreen, so let's stick this inside. <clears throat> So do you think this is something that you might have a go at? Um, I was thinking, oops, I've got a bit of, it was wet on the grid paper. I've got a little bit of ink there, but never mind. No one will notice. Um, oh, I've lost my train of thought now. Yeah, I was thinking you could do a slimline card if you wanted to do a longer word. Um, or if you had a really short word, maybe you could do it this way. But I kind of like it this way. So... So anyway, yes, I hope you give this a try. Let me bring back the other. Oh, let me show you. Let's put some um, crystal effects on. I'll show you how to do that. <clears throat> so um, the crystal effects, shimmery crystal effects, this is retiring too. So stock up on this. Um, this is, it's kind of like it adds just some dimension to um, your letters. I don't know if you can see that a little bit. Um, so it's it's kind of um, and it's got some shimmer in it so it's very oops it's very viscous is that the right word viscous so it won't um, kind of run off the edge of your letter if you just squeeze it out 
and it goes on kind of cloudy um, and then as it dries it dries clear so it's quite easy to apply and it and it kind of smooths out as it dries too it doesn't look like it's going to when it goes on it's kind of a bit kind of rough and bumpy looking uneven but it will um, kind of even out so I'm, I am squeezing quite hard it's a bit tacky even days later oh really Heather I wonder if it's um, like depends on the humidity because here where we are it's pretty dry pretty low humidity I wonder if it's a higher humidity that it takes longer to dry I haven't noticed it staying tacky yeah it's kind of fun over the holidays you can put it on Santa's hat or you know think Rudolph's nose things like that <clears throat> Ah, oh, see, everybody's got this, but they haven't used it. So, yeah, so now if you, if it looks a bit uneven, there's a couple of things you can do. You can take your, take your pick tool and just kind of, um, you know, if it's not gone right to the edge. To be honest, once it's dry, it won't really show if it's not right to the edge. But if you want to, you can just kind of play around with it just a little. Um, and then the other thing you can do, sometimes I do, is I just kind of go like this, jiggle it. Jiggle, 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 and that kind of tends to even it out a little bit too. Ah, Cat Margaret. Yeah, so it's retiring, so, um, and it's not very expensive. I forget how much it is, just a few dollars. So you can see it's a little bit cloudy at the moment, but it'll dry. I don't know if this one's probably not dry completely because I just <laughs> did it like a couple of hours ago. But, um, Oh, actually, it's pretty dry. Yeah, it's, it's, it is. It's pretty dry, this one. So that's how it looks. So there's that one. Let's show you all three cards. Zoom out a little bit. Here's this one and this one. And this one. So do you like the border or do you like no border like this one? What do you think? I kind of like the border, I think. Um, so anyway, there you go. Um, make sure you, uh, like I say, just stuff is selling out. So if there's things on your list that are retiring, then don't wait around too long to um, to get them. Thank you, everybody. Kate says she likes the one on the best left best. Yeah, the one I just did. I kind of like that one. I like the colors on that. I do like the border better on it, I think. I like this one's kind of a bit fancier if you wanted like a fancy one because of the metallics yeah I like the border too this one had more letters so I was worried I wouldn't have enough room so if I did have a border a matte layer I'd it would have to be a small one because I've got an extra letter and you can see I don't have that much gap between the letters so it'd be a little bit it would probably just be a quarter of an inch um I mean an, an eighth of an inch border so <laughs> Kristen says I like the border but I want to make them all yay well that's that then I, that's success then that's I've succeeded then if I if I've made you want to make them all I've done my job yes <laughs> all right well um I finished a little bit earlier today than usual that's good so yes um take advantage of all the um things that are on on sale and um don't leave it too long to get them. Um, if you um, would like a catalogue, all my regular customers will be getting catalogues soon. I'm going to use the Stamping Up mailing selector to send them all out for you. And I have to do that by tomorrow. So if you don't have a demonstrator currently and you would like a catalogue, then please let me know. I'll be happy to send one to you. Tara, Kristen, good to see you. And um, otherwise, um, I will, I'll list all the products below or on my YouTube um, uh, video. And I um, hope you have a great rest of the day. Thanks so much for joining me. And I will see you next week. Bye for now.